Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm gonna to do a review really quickly on a flannel, you know I love my flannels. Uh, but this time I thought I'd do something really different. I'd branch out a bit and try a brand that I've never featured on the channel before. And it's a brand that I know you guys all love. I see people talk about it, people wearing it all the time. It's none other than Taylor Stitch. And this is their Crater flannel in the Espresso colorway. So let's get right into it. <music> So the guys over at Huckberry were kind enough to send this out to me for review, so thank you guys very much for that. I've never tried anything from Huckberry and I've never tried anything from Taylor Stitch. Maybe that's because I'm in the UK and it's, you know, difficulty logistics, buying stuff over there. I don't know, maybe I'm just lazy. But this is, a, as I said in the beginning, this is their Crater shirt in the Espresso colorway. Now, Taylor Stitch retail this on their own website and you can buy it from various other places. But this uh, colorway, the espresso, can only be bought from Huckberry. They do some kind of like deal collaboration type stuff. Uh, and they had the, you know, the normal navy or the blue plaid version, but I thought that was too, everyone will get that one. I wanted something a bit different. And after all, it is Christmas. And I think this is a very, very Christmassy colorway. So had to go for it. It's very understated. Now it's a nine ounce brush flannel. It's 100% organic cotton as well, which is kind of amazing given the price point on these things. And when I say brushed cotton, it is very brushed. Now you've seen my other reviews and some of my flannels and I say, this is the softest flannel I ever own and la la la. And that is true. That is true. But this is literally the softest thing I, I own. I don't know how they get it so soft. I was kind of looking at the specs of this thinking that they've got some kind of blend in there to make it feel super soft, polyester, whatever. But no, 100% organic cotton. Doesn't say how many times it's brushed uh, that I can see. It just says it's heavily brushed and it is heavily brushed. Now, it's nine ounces, so maybe that makes it feel a bit softer. I don't know, but it is... Yeah, it's very, very soft. So it's got a lot of features here you expect from a premium flannel. It's got the cat's eye buttons throughout. It's got the uh, lock stitched needling for the buttons and also the button holes. It's got uh, double needle construction, felt construction. It's also got a chest pocket on the left that's got a button and then one on the right that doesn't. You can just slip your phone in, which is pretty, pretty good. So all in all, it's actually pretty well built considering the price point, as I said. And on that price point, how much are these? These usually retail for about $128, but you can often find them on sale for like 98, 86, depending if it's like Black Friday or what retailer you get it for. So get it from, I'll link it down below if you want this one and the other color from Huckberry, which are really, really nice. So on the sizing, they do do the jacket type sizing. So, you know, 36, 38, 40, 42, et cetera. Now I'm usually a 42 in pretty much everything, which I, think translates to a large. So I got a 42 in this and it does fit. I find these are a very much a roomier type flannel as opposed to something that comes out of Japan, which makes sense, right? Japanese market is a lot more smaller and just a bit tighter and tailored. Now, Taylor Stitch say this is a tailored fit, high arm holes, etc. but still I find this to be very roomy. Now it's not, I wouldn't say it's too big because uh, there is the, the sleeve length's fine uh, and there is ample room for me to use this as an overshirt with something underneath or use this as, as it says on their website, use it as your first layer before you put stuff over the top of it. So it does have its own unique purpose. I wouldn't just use this as a tight on the body flannel because it's definitely not tight or I would try it, you know, another size. In fact, their website got me thrown a little bit because uh, the model that wears it on their website is 6'2 and he's wearing a medium and I'm just on around six foot and I'm got a large. And for anyone else out there, I'm about 176 pounds, that's 80 kilos. Uh, and I'm about six foot uh, and I usually take a large in most things. This is a 42 and you'll see in the B-roll, make what you think. If you want it baggy, if you want it more fitted, I would go, uh, you know, 42 or, or, or if I wanted to, if I wanted one more fitted, I'd probably go down to a to a 40 and see how that went. So overall, what do I think of it? Well, I think it's a great funnel. I think for the price point though, you can't really go wrong with this. You get so many little details that you find on some of the more premium Japanese brands and they're like triple the price. So I think if you're, don't want to extend yourself to that level uh, and you just want a great funnel that's going to last you a while and it's got all the amazing details that you could find on those then this is your this is your flannel maybe not in this color if this doesn't do your do it for you there's but there's loads of colors out there even on the Huckberry website they've got a couple colors uh, and on the Taylor Stitch site they've got some really great colors as well I think it's nine ounces for me that's a little bit on the light side although I've seen people say this is a lovely heavy flannel for me I, I like a really thick thick heavy flannel upwards of 12 
14 ounces even um, if it's over dyed. So this at nine is for me a little bit, it feels a little bit light and, and flimsy. And when I say flimsy, I mean because of the cup, it's more, it's got more room in the body. There's more room in the arms. So it feels a bit wavy for me. Whereas someone with a heavier build, bigger build uh, would would suit this, you know, really, really nicely. So maybe it's for someone that has that, that stocky build. Though for me, I think, as I said, I'm gonna wear this as an overshirt. Christmas time, I'm gonna wear this layered up because I just think it's got Christmas vibes all over it. So it's, uh, yeah, I, I'm really, really liking this. Now I know there's gonna be people out there that are gonna look this up and say, oh, it's made in China. I'm not gonna get something made in China. They're all the same. And you know, I, I hear you when you say that, but if you do a little bit of research, you'll see that the guys at Taylor Stitch actually put a lot of effort into their sustainability, their uh, manufacturing process, and they're totally transparent about that. If you go to their website, they have a full thing on the process of uh, the, where their products come from, where they're made, the factories. They've got pictures of the factories. Uh, shows you the certification the factories have to go through. And I think the ones that they use in China are their own factories. So they started or, or, or rented or hired whatever their own factory in China. Uh, and they're all certified to put this stuff together and, and, and make it there before they send it over back to the US. And while we're talking about transparency, it's really good to know that all their cotton is 100% organic and organically certified. Now it's not just slap it on a label, say this is 100% organic. It takes a time and money and a process to actually get something organically certified. So I imagine Taylor Stitch has to be has to get that kind of certification. All the factories they use would have to be certified organic and so on and so forth down the chain for it to all be organically certified. Now, organic cotton is really good in the fact that it produces about 46% less CO2 per year uh, than conventional cotton and also uses around 200 to 300 kilowatts less energy per year. So it does good for the environment. That amongst the amount of water as well, there's so much water used in cultivating uh, fabrics. It's just, it's just crazy. So I've been trying to think about how I feel about Taylor Stitch and I think they're in a really good position in the market so they're not on the really cheap disposable end of the market they're all their items are very cleverly thought out they're very detail oriented and you can see that and feel that in everything you're getting it's 100% organic cotton and it's double brushed I think and it's just amazing for you know 128 which is full retail or 96 or 80 if it's on discount that's amazing you know you compare that with the other end of the spectrum, the Iron Hearts at 300 plus for a flannel. And yes, they'll last you forever, but so will this by the looks of it. So I think if you're looking for something that is, you know, kind of a really well built flannel that has the transparency about where it's coming from and how it's put together and how it's made, uh, the team behind it, the uh, customer service, well, I'll say is really good at Taylor Stitch and also Huckberry. Uh, I think it's a no brainer, right? If you're if you're watching these videos and seeing some of the stuff that I review and say, yeah, that's great Cameron, but that's a stupid amount of money. Then this is your answer. Taylor Stitch, I think, are, like I said, they position themselves really good. And I'm looking at some of their other stuff on their website and there's a lot of good stuff out there, especially the jackets, especially the shirts. Uh, there's just some great stuff out there. YouTube, that is gonna be a wrap for me. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I'm sure you guys have got some Taylor Stitch out stuff out there. Would love to know how it's held up and what you think of the brand. If you haven't subscribed already, you know what to do. Hit the red button, it really helps me out. It helps me get stuff like this to bring to the channel. And with all that being said, guys, have a great day and we'll see you in the next one.